something happened to you, what would be your last words? Fuck. Why? Why me now? I'm not ready to go yet. Give me more time. My last word will be, damn it. Why don't you give me a heads up? Give me one more day. <laughs> Probably, I would say that I hope I lived a good life. I'm grateful for my life. Very grateful for all the people I've met. And I send love to everybody in the planet. And I will meet them again because we never die. We're energy. <laughs> I would say, guys, have fun. I'm leaving right now. <laughs> and that's what COVID taught me. I need to be happy. I love you, Mom. <laughs> Tell my mom I love her. If I die like today, I just want like all my loved ones to know that, like, you know, I love them. And like, don't be sad. <laughs> just like, yo, keep, keep living. <laughs> you know? Uh, I don't know. That, I mean, that's all I really gotta say. You know, just, I love them and do your best. what I would say to the world because I'm not connected to people um, like that but probably my family I would probably tell my dad um, and my sister that I love them because I don't usually I don't ever tell them I love them I don't think I've ever told them um, yeah I think I would tell that and my mom probably as well my last words would just be find what gives you meaning Don't leave things unsaid. Um, I would say not to waste time. My last words would be to be more sensitive to everybody. That goes for everyone, to everyone. Um, this world could do with a lot more compassion and understanding and respect for each other. So that's the message that I would leave for everybody else. I would want my kids kids who are screaming in the background uh, to know that I love them and I think be kind to one another. That sounds like very Ellen, doesn't it? But I think I would have to go with be kind and do what, however small it is, do what you can to make the world a more livable place. I think I'd want my family to know that like when I passed, like I was happy and at peace because I know it's really common for like when people like die, like a lot of their families feel like it was at an end and they never really got to like mend it all together. So I think it's really important that like I just make sure my family knows that like it happened for a reason and like it happened because I like and like I guess that was like the time for me and then it was just so they don't feel as if like they there was never any like communication and like that everything wasn't fine, but everything was fine and I was happy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, for me as well, I agree. I think, like, just to tell my family that, like, I love them. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm just such an, I'm such an awkward person. Like, and I don't let them know that, like, in day-to-day -day life, you know? So I feel like just for them to know that now, you know? Like, even though I can't say that, like, normally, but, like, so th for them to not, like, be tossing and turning at night thinking I did that, that I was not, like, appreciative of them. I'm not laughing. This is not funny, but... Hopefully that doesn't happen in the near future, yeah. but just like to show our gratitude, you know, like because sometimes communication gets a little it bit off. Yeah. yeah. So like for them to actually like physically know that would be nice, you know. Yeah. If something happened to you. What would be your last words? Love. Uh, to yourself or to somebody? Like, I mean, to, to, to myself, to the world, to everyone. It's just, just uh, to love, to love one another. To, you know, love's the answer to everything. Uh, when you boil everything, everything down, um, you know. And, and in my opinion, the only real thing here 
and whatever here is, whatever this world is, is love. Um, I think everything else is an illusion, more or less. Yeah.